Bugs Bunny Birthday Bloat, known in Japan by its on-screen title, Happy Birthday Bugs, is a Kemco-produced 8-bit platformer released on the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1990. It actually takes a lot of abuse for being a bad game, but I used to really enjoy it as a kid. I haven't played it since, admittedly, so here's my first look and attempt at completing it as an adult. The story or premise of the game is a pretty original one. It's up to you to get Bugs Bunny to his 50th birthday party that's been thrown for him by his friends. As expected, it isn't as easy as it should be, and Bugs Bunny must go from stage to stage armed with a mallet, taking on various Warner Brothers cartoon characters, such as Sylvester, the Tasmanian Devil, and several others, who are all jealous that Bugs is getting all the attention. See, I bet you've never played a game about someone's 50th birthday party before. Unfortunately, the gameplay itself is nothing new. You go from stage to stage collecting items and fending off enemies, with Bugs' trusty mallet, you can swing and hit various enemies, deflect incoming projectiles, and destroy bricks. You can land on enemies without taking damage, but it doesn't kill them. As you progress, you will collect hearts and restore health, and carrots to get bonus points. The more carrots you collect, the better chance you have of loading one of the bonus stages. The Whack-A-Mole style bonus stage is actually quite fun, and there are others that are quite disappointing, with one basically just being Connect 3 or Bingo. The controls are tight apart from one small point. If and when you do get hit, you cannot use the mallet for several seconds. It's a completely pointless feature, and one that you'll probably forget regularly, so you end up taking more hits, and it might even possibly end in your death. For an epic game, the graphics are fairly good. They are quite colourful, especially in the early stages of the game. The backgrounds, even more so, are very well designed. They are very varied, and the detail in parts is amazing. They do tend to repeat on occasion, however. The animation, however, is downright terrible, and Bugs skips animation sequence completely, especially when he has stars overhead. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the music. It's generally not as bad as it's been made out to be. It's not the best video game music of all time, but it's only alright. The sound effects are nothing short of terrible, however. They are never in tune with what's actually going on in the game, and it's just downright sloppy programming. So, whack-a-mole bonus stage and 20 plus stages starring Warner Brothers cartoon characters that I love. But Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout is nothing more than a lump of coal when it could have been a diamond. It's far from the worst game on the console and I genuinely feel it's not as bad as people make out. Remember people, the music might be annoying but you can always turn it off. <laughs> 